You wanna learn how to make something as cool as that? I'm gonna show you right now. Let's go ahead and start laying out the forms for the other coasters. This is pretty much going to sit on like that and that. We're going to cut this one off and use as dividers. center of where that board would fall so we know where to drill is a guide all the way down the lane. If you can see I only taped up a little bit, well we're only doing about a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch thickness of epoxy pour, so that'll be plenty. I did finish out the rest of these blocks, now we gotta get the front face plate on. After seeing how many screws we put in here, you would probably think that we were building a bomb shelter, but we're not. The sides are all on, and now we just need to do some additional taping on the sides just so that if there are any cracks, that we totally eliminate any possible leaks. So, let's go ahead and do that. Table itself right now. Is not the best at with level. You can see there, it's pretty crooked. So, we're going to use these popsicle sticks to level out this thing just by putting them under the corners. For these coasters, we are going to be putting some casings in here. So, that'll make it look real cool. But let's get to mixing up our epoxy and we can get into setting those in. Oh. Oopsies! 
now we got a mess. I probably should be wearing gloves, but we're just gonna mark out a quarter inch so we know where it fell to. torch just to heat it up and get rid of the bubbles. Whoa. That's not good. It's gonna melt the glue. That's not good. Okay, well maybe we're not gonna do that. We're learning here. We don't know what we're doing totally, so we're learning. That's the point of this, I think. I'm just using a heat gun here um, to heat up the epoxy, which apparently helps uh, remove some of the bubbles. So we're just giving it a shot and see if it's gonna work. Uh, right now we heated that one up and we did not heat this one up. I can't really tell that much of a difference, but it's supposedly supposed to help. Alright guys, I don't know about you, but that is sweet looking. I'm super excited with how that's coming out. All in all, those are going to make some cool coasters. We'll let this sit, and then we'll put a clear coat on top of all of that, so you can see it nice. So cool though, so cool. To the table. Up, up, up to the Stay strong. To the tail, to the tail. It easy, I can tell. I can tell. Gotta stay strong, stay strong. To the tail. That looks pretty sweet with the gray in there. Kind of, it almost looks like the gunpowder just has spilled out of all of these. It's kind of cool. We just got our 22 rounds, or five, five, six, and nine mil. All right, so it has sat for about a day now uh, with the second layer, so it's looking pretty sweet. We're gonna try now to get it out of the form, which this might be a little bit interesting. Never done anything like this, so. We're gonna try it. Obviously, you gotta unscrew it, and then I think we're just gonna try and smack on this with like a hammer, see if it'll come off. All the screws are out. Let's uh, get the hammer and give this a shot. Let's do it. I think I kind of need two hands. I only got the one. Oh wow, that actually came out pretty easy. Corners. Oh baby. Check that out. That is sweet. What do you think? Leave a comment if you like it. And when you go put up the light, it's actually a little bit translucent. Now 
Not only is it a mess, but it's static. So it sticks to you. It's stuck to the walls. It's stuck to the drill, the can, the wood, everything. It's on my face probably now. It's everywhere. All right, so these are all done being sanded and now they are ready to get some polyurethane just to finish it out. Uh, we just recently got finished with this one. Uh, as you can see, polyurethane just kind of really does bring a nice touch and really pulls out the color. If you're interested, go check out the link below or right here, uh, link to that project. But let's get into this one. So also to note, I did end up adding some little rubber feet to the four corners just to give it a solid um, you know, connection with the table and so it wouldn't slide around too much So or scratch anything either. So those were a nice addition. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing the process of how these were made. Um, they turned out really great. Honestly, I think they're going to make great gifts and just overall great coasters. Um, hope it also encourages you to go get after your own projects. Just See what happens, even if you got some hesitations, just go for it. But thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time.